Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how to delete the window.o folder. You can see it's on the right hand side, the window.o folder here, after I upgrade from the window 10 to window 11. And the current versions on my window is window 11 Pro version. This is the official version. After I upgrade from the old version to a new version, we have the window.o folder, and this folder will be here around 30 days. And if you don't want to use the window 11 anymore, so you can roll back to the older version of window 10. Okay, so if you want to delete this folder to increase the spacing for the system drive, you can follow this video. You go to the this PC, and here you can select the window drive and right click on it. Select the properties option. It will open up a window and you click on the disk cleanup option under the general tab. It will open up another window. You see here, you click on the cleanup system files. So now it will do the calculation to collect some of the unnecessary files to be removed here. And let's wait for the calculation. After the calculation is complete, it will open another pop-up. You see here, we have some the file to delete option. You can select the Microsoft Defender Antivirus. The window upgrade log files. And you scroll it down. We have some the temporary internet files. You can select this one. Scroll it down. And you see here, we have the option in previous window iterations. Yeah. Let's select this one. Show. If you select this one, that means you want to be delete the window.o folder here. Yeah. And assuming you have just select enough option to delete some of the unnecessary file on the window, so you click on the OK button to perform the action for the delete. And click on the delete file to get the confirmation before we delete the files on the window PC. And after that, it will trigger the cleanup job. You have to wait until the cleanup is complete. Your click on each button, depending on the sizing of the unnecessary files on your machine, so it will take some time for delete. Yeah, so you see here, after we delete the window.o file, the spacing of the system drive has been increased here. Let me open the window. And you see here, we don't have the window.o folder anymore. Yeah, so I hope this video we have one for you. After you finish this video, you know how to remove the window.o folder to increase the spacing for the PC. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.